Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennis. And today guys, I am bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here to Doom Tasty's channel. Now today guys, what you're watching isn't just your regular old Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. This isn't just some lame nuclear that Tasty got using the VMP on Nuketown. No, today what you guys are watching is the world's first Nightbreaker nuclear with Dark Matter. That's right guys, let alone it's the first nuclear with the Nightbreaker, but he also already has Dark Matter on it, which is just absolutely crazy. This gameplay he got playing Domination on the map breach. Just an amazing gameplay here by Doom Tasty that I'm sure all of you guys will enjoy. Tasty pushes out content like this all the time over here on his channel that I'm sure you guys will go ahead and enjoy. He was the first person to go ahead and get the world's first Banshee nuclear, Rift E9 nuclear, and Buzz Cut nuclear. This guy grinds new DLC weapons as soon as they come out, so he's definitely someone you're going to want to be subscribed to as we continue here through the rest of the life cycle of Black Ops 3, because hopefully we will be getting some new weapons from Treyarch. I really love it when they do stuff like this, just because it continues to spice up the game and keep it fresh and doesn't, you know, keep it all stale as we anxiously await the release of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. But if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to go ahead and smack a like on it, guys. That would honestly mean the world to me. If we could go ahead and shoot for 75 likes on this video, guys, that would be awesome make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to tasty's channel if you guys are new like i said you won't be disappointed with anything he posts over here on his channel and if you guys don't know who i am my name is carnage hennis i'm a commentator for carnage clan so be sure to come check out my channel as well my link will be down there in the description below i'm on that road to 14,000 subscribers so every little piece of support does mean the world to me and without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get right into today's commentary topic so what i'm going to talk to you guys about today is how tasty manages to go about getting a gameplay like this and sort of the tactics behind how you have to play this gameplay differently differently than if you were just getting a regular nuclear, like I said earlier, with the VMP or the CUDA or some other tryhard weapon that we're all so familiar with and that's so easy to use in Black Ops 3 at this point in the game. So some of the points that I'm going to make in this video, I actually talked about in another gameplay by Tasty that went up on my channel yesterday, I believe, but I'm just going to continue to talk about those same sort of tactics because they're really important to keep in mind when you're going for a gameplay like this. Uh, first of all, this is a melee weapon nuclear. So this is the first nuclear that I'm going to see by Tasty where he's actually using a melee weapon, I believe. The other two games gameplays that I've seen by Tasty are the Banshee and the Rift E9, which are both amazing gameplays, but there are some slight differences between how you play a Banshee or a Rift E9 nuclear versus a melee weapon nuclear, because as you guys know, you can't shoot any bullets. You have to be right up close to the enemies. So when you're going for a melee weapon nuclear, and this pretty much applies to any melee weapon, you have to be playing stealthy, which is exactly what Tasty is going to do in this gameplay. He's most likely to be running with some sort of concussion. He's most likely going to be running a six-man party, and he's going to be choosing his gunfights tactically. This was something that I observed in the Rift E9 nuclear gameplay that Tasty got, when he's running around getting these gun kills, sometimes he does spot an enemy and an enemy spots him, but he dips out of the way, runs around a corner, and lets one of his teammates take the kill, which is a really smart tactical move because Tasty may be looking at that gunfight and saying, okay, that guy has a VMP, I've faced him before, and he's going to be able to really easily kill me with that if I miss a couple of my shots, and I just don't want to risk it because I'm already on a 20 or something like that. Those sorts of things could be going through Tasty's head, so playing tactically like that is something that's going to be really, really important when we're going for a gameplay like this, and like I said, especially especially when you're running with a melee weapon because you have to be right up close to the enemies. So I'm guessing he's most likely running Heat Wave when going for a gameplay like this. I believe that's what he was running when he was going for the Banshee nuclear and the Rift D9 nuclear because running with the Heat Wave is going to allow you to sort of send out a, a concussion from you and just, you know, distort all the enemy's visions and their hearing within a certain proximity. And that's going to really help, especially when you're going for melee weapon nuclear, like I've said a million times here, because you have to be right up close to them in order to kill them, which makes this gameplay very, very impressive in my opinion. So just overall, really, really great Call of Duty gameplay here by Tasty. Now, I personally haven't actually seen any gameplay with the Nightbreaker, so I don't know if it's similar to the combat knife in the sense that, you know, you have to jab it into the enemies and then pull it back out. There's sort of that delay animation time, or if it's more like a weapon like the Fury Song or the Iron Gym, or maybe even the Buzz Cut, where all you have to do is just really slice across the enemies and you can be on your way, or, you know, very similar also to the Skull Splitter. I don't know if it's a weapon like that. Obviously, if it does have that sort of animation, it would make it much easier to get a gameplay like this because you don't have to account for that animation delay time, which is ultimately going to make it a lot easier to get groups of kills or kill groups of enemies without having to, you know, sort of be, you know, in a sitting duck position, having to worry about whether or not you're going to get flanked or if another enemy sees you in a situation like that when you're trying to get a kill. So I'll be anxious to actually see this in 
entire gameplay when it does go up on Tasty's channel. But really hope you guys all did enjoy this commentary. If you guys did, please be sure to go ahead and smack a like on it, guys. That would honestly mean the world to me. Like I said, 75 likes is going to be our like goal for today. And if you guys have not subscribed to Tasty's channel, please, guys, go ahead and subscribe. He's on the road to 13,000 subscribers, and he definitely deserves a heck of a lot more than that, in my opinion. Be sure to come check out my channel. My link will be down there in the description below, like I said, on that road to 14,000. And if you guys did go ahead and watch up to this point in the video, go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Nightbreaker. That'll let me know that you guys watched this entire video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming as always. Stay cool. Adios.